Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do kind of like my everyday, very minimal makeup look. And I know that you guys have mentioned in one of my previous Avon videos that you really like Avon and their product. So I am partnering up with Avon for today's video and I'm showing you how I achieve this look using some of their products, including the cream to powder foundation. You guys will love this. And then I'm sure you guys have heard of the Glow Pearls. This is such an iconic Avon product and I am obsessed with this. And then I also show you how I like cheat a thicker lash line with this glimmer stick diamond eyeliner they come in so many different shades but i'm going to show you how i use this brown one to kind of like darken up my lash line so you guys see that in just a sec and then finally finishing it off with a beautiful nude lipstick when i tried this out this went straight into my handbag you guys it's the most beautiful lipstick and the most beautiful nude shade it's called nude suede and I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. So I really hope that you enjoy it and let's jump into it. Okay, so first I am going to start with this Prep and Prime Set Spray. This is called the Avon Mark Prep and Set Spray. And I love this, you guys, because it kind of creates like a tacky surface to the skin. And that will allow your makeup to stay on. And then I'm going to go in with the Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. I have it in the shade Honey Beige and I'm just going to pick it up with my damp beauty sponge. And the trick with this foundation is to use as little as possible because if you use a lot and you kind of cake it on, it doesn't quite go powdery. So I'm literally just like tapping this to my skin and it is a little bit darker but if you blend it it gives you a really healthy glow I prefer going slightly darker in terms of foundation when I'm doing like a very minimal look because it kind of gives you extra color well if you have my skin complexion and then you can always like brighten things up with some concealer and then I've been liking to use a stick concealer like this. This one is in the shade NC1. And what I'm going to do with this is just put this like under my eyes. Just like that. So you kind of see the difference between this one and where I applied the concealer. It kind of just lifts the under eye and just brightens up. That area a little bit and if you have some dark circles it is very early in the morning right now and I quite you know haven't slept that well so this always helps so just under there and then I'll go in with my other concealer the Avon under eye brightening illuminator concealer and this one is in the shade natural radiance i'll apply this in my t-zone okay and then you can go ahead and either leave it this way or you can go in with some powder i love this little brush it's like a very travel friendly kabuki brush so i'm only going to set my t-zone i'm not using an avon powder so let me know down below if you know of any good Avon powders. I would love to try them so I can maybe pick them up if you guys have any recommendations for me. So when I was tasting out um, the different shades of the cream to powder foundation on my hand, I kind of just swatched a few different shades on my hand and I left it and it turned into this beautiful like airbrushed powder finish. And if you guys want to try this foundation in terms of like a BB cream and wear it when you don't really want to wear foundation but you just want to even out your skin tone and make it look like a little bit airbrushed, this will look so beautiful. But the trick with the foundation is the more you apply, the longer it takes to kind of turn into that cream to powder finish. So if you do apply more, I would suggest applying a little bit of powder just in case, just like I did. But the concealer under the eyes and like in the T-zone 
doesn't really go to a powder finish and I would always, always recommend setting your concealer. So I mainly focus the powder in my T-zone and then I'm going to bronze up the rest of my skin. So I didn't apply much powder to the outer perimeters of my face because I wanted to use a darker shade of that exact concealer that I used. This one is in the shade Bronze Radiance. So I'm going to apply this where I would normally like bronze and contour. This is a little trick for you if you want your lips to appear a little bit larger and since we're not going to do like lip liner, I'm not planning on doing lip liner, I just wanted to do a very beautiful nude lip. This is an amazing trick to kind of like make your lips appear larger and I'm going to do a little bit on the lid. Remember this is like a very quick you know, glam up and go type of look. This is a little kabuki brush, also from Avon. And it blends it very nicely. So you can always go ahead and apply more if you want to. But I am going to set this with powder, so I don't want to go too crazy. And then I'm going to take a little brush. See how beautiful that looks? And then you can also take that um, bronzer and kind of like just smudge it underneath. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more, just like over here, and just quickly work with that. I want you guys to leave me a comment down below. Have you heard of Avon? Have you tried any of their products? What are your favorites? What are the products that you have heard about them? Because I think this is like one of the products that Avon is probably known for. I mean, this is one of the first products that I came across in Avon and it is their Glow Bronzing Pearls. I'm sure you guys have seen these and they are just like pearls. They look like this. And what you do is you take a big brush. This brush is also from Avon. I will link all of these products down below. And you kind of just like tap it in there. And then I'm just gonna like tap onto the contour bronzing areas and just kind of like set the bronzer or the contour that we did. And I love that these little pearls have a combination of gold, rose gold, like a bronzy shade, and it's just an overall like warm glow, beautiful bronzing pearl, and it really does make you glow. And it's also not like incredibly pigmented, so it's easy to work with. And I mean, it just feels so fancy and fun. <laughs> so I'm just tapping my cheekbones, like my temples. If you guys um, don't know, if you apply bronzer to the sides, it kind of shortens your forehead a little bit. I have a pretty big forehead. So if you have a small forehead, just be careful putting too much dark shadows on the sides of your temples. And then I just want to do like a little bit on my nose for like an everyday look. I don't really contour my nose. I really contour my nose these days. I like to just add, I don't know, just like a little bit of a sun-kissed nose, if you know what I mean. So mainly focus it from like here to the end. And our noses are different, so this will entirely depend on you, but this is just what I do. You see? And then I'm just going to take my little eyeshadow brush and just like work it in between the pearls and also just set my eyes. Okay, and then that's basically the skin done. I quickly just want to do my brows. My brows are pretty full, so what I like to do is just brush them up. I do tint my brows, so I will link that video down below. So I'm just going to brush them up and then my little spoolie. 
I'm going to spray a little bit of this priming spray on it because it has that little bit of a tackiness to it kind of just sets your brows and holds them in place but I'm going to fill them in a little bit I'm going to use this brow product it is called the Glimmer Stick Brow Definer and I have it in the shade Dark Brown and what I'm going to do is just kind of like draw then hairs so that the brows just look like naturally full and then just go back in with a little bit of that mark magic spray and just brush them in place i am obsessed with blush so i'm going to use this blush in the shade peach it is honestly the most beautiful like Barbie doll blush and I love blush shades like this. It has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's just so beautiful. And it also adds a little bit of highlight with the bronzer. You don't really need highlight because it does have like that luminous glow to it and so does this blush. So for the eyes, I like to cheat a thicker lash line to make my lashes appear fuller and thicker and I like to focus on like long thick lashes, beautiful skin and like a semi matte or like a glossy lip. So I don't really do too much to the eyes, less is more for me and I love using a brown eyeliner to like tight line my upper lash line and kind of like trick fuller lashes so this one is the glimmer stick diamond eyeliner and they have so many beautiful like diamondy shades but i'm going to be using the brown sugar i really love a brown liner in the eyes i think it's a little bit less harsh than a black would be but this would entirely depend on your appearance oh my goodness guys i'm like sweating really can't wait for winter because it's just like it wasn't that hot when i started and that's why i'm wearing this beautiful like lumo orange jersey so yeah i just tight line More like the outer like the, the outer half And then I spend a lot of time on mascara. So this one is the True Ultra Volume Lash Magnifying Mascara. I love the brush. I love the formula. I've been wearing this mascara the past few days. And let me tell you, I am obsessed. I love how it like separates your lashes, but it makes them longer and thicker without like clumping them too much. So I'm going to apply like a generous amount of coats of this mascara and I'm only going to be applying to my top lashes focusing most of the mascara on the outside because whoops okay I'm going to let that dry and then I'll brush it off because I want my lashes to kind of like fan out it just goes really well with my eye shape there we go you see basically gone so my trick is if you ever like mess mascara on your lid or like on your under eyes like i just did just wait for it to dry and then just take your mascara spoolie or like your brow spoolie and just like flick it off because if it's wet it will smudge and you are not going to be able to get that off so just wait for it to dry and then just like flick it off okay so for lips I'm going to finish off with a beautiful nude lip. I love these lipsticks from Avon. This one is in the shade Nude Suede. They smell amazing, you guys. Not too like in your face, but I love a good smelling lipstick. So this is the shade. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like a semi matte, so it's not extremely dry, but I did moisturize my lips before we started so that I don't have like any cracks. So I'm just gonna apply this to my lips. 
So this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I have been getting so many questions from you guys asking if I'm going to do like an updated, everyday, effortless makeup look because this is the look that I wear um, over the weekends because I do work from home and I don't have like a normal 9 to 5 corporate job so I do, um, you know, give my skin a break if I am not filming YouTube videos or like beauty tutorials or vlogs. So um, if I had to wear makeup every single day, I would do this look because it's so easy, very minimal and effortless and it doesn't take, um, you know, up a lot of product or there's not a lot of product that you put on your skin. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought and also if you have tried Avon, if you want to try Avon, if there's any products that intrigued you and then if you are an Avon rep, please comment your details down below so that the other girls can find you and that I can support you guys with this platform as well. Another special thanks to Avon for working with me on this video. I love you guys so so much. All of the products will be linked down below and then I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah!